Hey, hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going on this fabulous Tuesday? Just got my hair did, super excited. Um, coming to you live from my home office in Chicago. Um, it's about that time where my son is gonna be flying through the door, so this is gonna be very interesting um, to see. Hey, girl, what's up? Yep, as you're tuning in, as you're hopping in, I want you to say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me some thumbs up. Drop me an emoji. Um, what's up, guys? I'm super excited to be talking to you about this today because yesterday was amazing, amazing for our team. And if you are not, if, if you're sitting in your business and you're feeling um, stuck or if you feel frustrated or you're struggling, you definitely want to be on this live and you definitely want to tag your team members, okay? All right? So if you share, if you tag, I'll give you a shout out. All right. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, Eva. Hi, Tracy. How's it going? Yep. So you definitely want to tag, share. Um, I'm going to give it a minute. And... Um, my husband's messaging me. I mean, this guy, I swear, he always knows when I'm live. Between my husband and my mother, they always know when I'm live, you guys. Like, it's it's crazy. And now Austin's going to be flying in the door. So, if you hear my son coming in, just we're just going to have to roll with it, okay? So, I want to talk to you um, a little bit about kind of what happened yesterday between um, our team and how we absolutely like crushed Cyber Monday, you guys, like crushed it. And so I want to give you these tips because I want to help you move forward in your business and help your teams to grow as well, okay? So I'll get to it in a minute. Again, as you guys are popping in, make sure you say hello, show me some hearts, um, and let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're on the replay, I want you to put hashtag replay. And I will personally give you a shout out. And if you're new to me, drop me a one so you could go to create. I want to send you to create success with Julie.com after this broadcast. Drop in your email and um, you will get one of my free gifts. I have many free gifts there. So, you guys, I have to put this on silent or something. I'm getting a lot of messages here. Um, okay. So, um, how do we literally crush Cyber Monday. And I'll tell you what I mean by crush. Like the rank advancements on our team alone um, were just incredible. So if you don't know um, my story, I've been in the network marketing uh, profession for five years. I was with another company. Um, I felt like it was, you know, my home. I got started with that company. I, I really liked the products and I also was looking for a business opportunity. Never knew what network marketing was. Like, is anybody on here that was like new to network marketing and you didn't know what network marketing was? Like, you didn't realize it, what network marketing was or it was a network marketing company? Um, if, if that was you, drop me a two below because um, when I got started in network marketing, I'm like, what the hell is network marketing? Like, I truly did not know. Um, I came from a franchise background and then I went into direct sales and uh, really realized that I did not care for direct sales because I was gone all the time. I don't know if I have any direct sales people on this live, but I was gone all the time. And um, I didn't want to be gone from my family. I, I really didn't. I want to be gone nights and weekends. So when I got started in network marketing, I was like, okay, I understand this business model. I really like it more because I don't have to do home parties, even though they were telling me to do home parties. I found another way, and that was something called Facebook, right? So five years ago, Facebook was, you know, the way to really, um, I guess, I was told to create curiosity, get your message out there, you know, don't, don't say what company you're with. And so I was kind of taught the right way from the beginning. However, I started seeing a lot of people do a lot of spamming as time went on. A lot of people were catching on to the Facebook trend of let's just put, you know, before and after pictures and, you know, pictures of me holding this and that and everything with my product name on it. And there was like no curiosity, right? There was like no sexiness about it, okay? And so people love to be curious. Like we are 
uh, human beings in general, just we love to be curious about stuff. And so it was a really big deal that we were building in, in a curiosity way. At least I was, okay? And so, um, and some of my team members were. But here's the thing, okay? Long story short, um, being in the profession for a while and understanding this profession, I started to see holes in my last company, okay? Um, and I also had um, some other things go down there, which I'm not going to talk about right now, but what ultimately ended up happening was something at the time where I thought like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Um, because I had this team, I had this huge downline, like how do you walk away from a multiple six figure uh, position? And my message here is sometimes you look at things because you're in a certain situation, okay? And you guys can look at it and say, why is this happening? Because you think it's like the worst thing ever that is happening. Hi, Austin. Hi. Okay. Can I watch your show? Yeah, go ahead. Close the door. Okay. okay. Love you. Um, and you look at a situation and you're, you, you know, you could be upset about it. You could be distraught about it. You could be angry. So like think of a time in your life where you had these emotions and you felt like, you know, in a relationship, this was going to be forever. And then it crumbles. It legitimately crumbles. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world. Like, right? Like you're upset. Well, that was me. So in hindsight, I was looking at it from at that time of being like, what am I going to do now? And what I decided to do, which I don't see many people do, and this is my message for all of you, is if you're sitting in unhappiness, if you're sitting in frustration, if you're you know, sitting in indecisiveness, I encourage you to really look deep within and decide what is it ultimately that you want. When I answered that question, what? No, you're not leaving this home right now until I'm done. Just do a broken house. Seven year old wants to leave my house. No, I will be out in a minute. Okay. I'll be out in a minute. Come on. I'll be out in a minute. I'll be out in a minute. I'll be out in a minute. I'm going right to broken house right back. No. No, you're not leaving this home without me. I will call Santa Claus, okay? Does anyone else have one of those? I mean, honestly, a seven-year-old that thinks he's going on freaking 21 years old. He wants to go to his girlfriend's house, okay? So this is my message. I talk to people daily who are unhappy, who are indecisive. And what I have to tell you is this. Sometimes you look at a situation and you look at what is happening in that moment instead of stopping and thinking about what is it that you might not be aligned with or what is it that is making you unhappy. And in, and what I just want to encourage you to do is to have the courage to seek that out. Okay, I had the courage to seek it out. And I had the courage to walk away. And I understand not many people have that 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 luxury maybe at this moment but guess what there is always a way out there's always a plan you have to put the plan together okay so i put the plan together i walked away and i started thinking in abundance and not what i was losing i literally had to envision what my future was going to be and if it meant to be somewhere else then go awesome okay if it was meant to be um, building with the certain amount of, you know, I don't know, the, the, the ideal people I was looking to build with, then so be it. Does that make sense, you guys? Does this, it's, yeah, Sarah, it's not an easy thing to do. Nothing is easy, okay? It's nothing is easy that's worth having. So I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys because it, it, it relates to what just happened on Cyber Monday, okay? Mm-hmm. It was not an easy decision to leave. But I I did make the decision and I moved on. And I said, okay, I need to be with a home that appreciates me as an entrepreneur. I need to be with leadership that I can trust, that will direct me and bring me forward, okay? Um, Not bring me down, not bring me down. And I've, I've been bruised, you guys, I've been bruised, okay? But instead of being angry, I have to look 
and say, I'm happy that happened because not only did I learn a lesson, I ended up, the, the grass was greener. The grass was greener. So moving forward, been with the company now for the last almost six months and envision had this vision for who I wanted to build with. I had the vision of, you know, creating a home for our network marketers that were also bruised and unhappy and struggling and, and had, you know, stuff going on. Um, maybe that they weren't happy or they were struggling or frustrated or whatever. All right. Because there's like this fine line in this industry where you're being told to do it the old school way. And then there's this other line on the other side where people are building online. So I want to speak to those that want to build online because that's what we're doing. I have to tell you a majority of my team and I have over a hundred business builders on my team. The majority of my team, I think I have two people that live local to me. Everything that has been happening on our team, it's from people all over the place. And how do you think that this happens? This happens because we're building online. It does not happen at home parties. It is not happening at coffee shop meetings. It is not happening with the person in the mall. It's happening because I'm using my phone, right? And we're using certain tools and we're building online. So my team is all over the world. So I want you to understand if you're sitting there and you're like, well, I'm being taught old school ways, but I want to learn online ways. This is why you're here because I'm going to teach you what we've been doing. I'm going to teach you why um, 26, 26, I think I'm still counting, of my team members rank advance, double rank advance, and triple rank advance yesterday. I rank advance six times. I was promoted six times. Today will be the seventh. Okay, so how, do you guys want to know? Like, I don't know. Do you guys want to know what we're doing? Uh, I mean, if you do, I need you to drop me an emoji. I need you to drop me some hearts, drop me an emoji so I can share in the last five, six months since I started what is happening on our team. And I want you to understand it's not just me. I mean, my entire team is made up of leaders. And I'm talking like, even if they just stepped into it, they are a leader. And it stems from the way that you lead your team, right? Right? Like, so I was always taught to empower and lift up and leverage, okay? And so my, our team is, is on fire because they're stepping in and they're saying, okay, I'm just rolling up my sleeves and we're just going to learn this as we go. I mean, I still don't know everything. That's the crazy thing. I don't know everything about the compensation plan. I don't know everything about, um, you know, a, a lot of things. I mean, I know the system, but I still, I'm still asking questions as well, right? And here's the cool thing. From the beginning, you have to build unity in your team. I will tell you this right now. Um, the unity, there has to be unity and there has to be synergy, okay? So what, so let me get to just some of my notes. Um, and I know I have some team members on here, so if I forget something, you guys, please help me out. But I'm going to go through. So basically, you have to have a plan. So we had a plan going into um, Cyber Monday, okay? So the plan was um, the week before we entered Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, my gosh. So you guys are going to see the Italian come out right now, okay? I'm just telling you, Italian is coming, Italian mama's coming out. All right, so we had um, a plan, okay? And my plan was, or our plan was, um, we did a giveaway, okay? So we were doing a giveaway and, and we did Facebook a Facebook Live. And um, by the way, um, I think a majority of our team is doing a Facebook Live every single day. They, they, they're, they're part of um, that 30 day challenge, if you guys know about that, but they, they have committed. And you guys, that's what I did a year ago to break me out of my fear. If, if you've been following me, you know I talked about this. Last July, I came in second place inside of John and Nadia's um, um, MLA challenge. And I did the challenge because I was challenging myself. I was challenging myself to break away from the fear of video, okay, and doing lives. Came in second place, by the way, because uh, Wisconsin had no Wi-Fi. I don't know about that. I went away with my family for a day and I missed a day. But anyways, um, 
Facebook lives every day. Okay. That's what the team is doing. And that's what they're, they're just, they're just doing it. And they're popping up with just different topics. They're just seeing what works, but, but there's a plan set in place. Cause ultimately we, we know we're going to be popping in some giveaways. We're going to be popping up some specials. Like we all knew black Friday and cyber Monday was coming. Like this is no surprise, right? So how do we pop in? Like, I think it was crazy amount of volume, like crazy. I think it was like 70,000 points of volume in one day alone. Like it was crazy what was going on yesterday. Um, and the month's still not over, right? So Facebook lives every day people have been doing and attracting an, an audience. I am very big on branding and so are our, so is our upline, so is the other leadership on our team and, and, and most of my team, they know it's the brand. Like they're here because they want to build online. Most of my team has come and stemmed from, um, the network marketing industry or the direct sales industry. So they get it, they understand a brand and they wanna build their own brand and they're building their own brand. And so they're, they're, they're doing the do, right? They're doing the do. And so they're branding themselves, they're not branding the company. They're dropping in the nuggets of the curiosity, right? They're not saying what the product is. They're doing curiosity posts, they're dripping in lifestyle, they're dripping in their Facebook lives, they're dripping in, um, little pieces here and there, maybe every now and then they do before and after, but you guys, we're not slamming the feed with before and afters. I did my first before and after this week, but it was of me and it was of my own hair, like the growth of my hair, right? Um, but I don't really do a lot of before and afters. Okay. So, um, you have to have a plan and a strategy. So we had a plan to do this, um, giveaway before black Friday came. So we did our Facebook lives. Um, we had people come in, watch it and tag their friends and all we're asking to do them to do was to check out a video that's it to get into a group and check out the video about the company that's it and we're raffling off uh to two winners our favorite products so they had from i believe the week before black friday to the end of the month to get in and do this and we're raffling it off at the end of the month so that obviously stirred up and people were, were sharing the Facebook Live. My whole team was sharing my Facebook Live, okay? And then we had this call to action to drop in the hashtag and what the hashtag was, okay? So it, there has to be, it's like a campaign. It's like a campaign, but we're gonna do a big blow, blown out campaign in December. So this was like a mini campaign leading up to Black Friday. So what happened was then also, um, I launched, you have to launch. If you've yet to launch, and you could always launch again and then launch again, okay? So don't feel like you could only launch once. So I actually did my own launch this week on my personal page where I finally came clean. I'm breaking, I just said breaking my silence. That's all I said and on my Facebook Live, okay? And um, it obviously, what does that do? It's, it, it raised curiosity. Okay, so my team, they're doing their own launches. They're following the system, right? Like we're guiding them. What do you say on your first Facebook Live when you launch? What do you say on your second? And of course you're tweaking it to your own personality, but yeah, there are certain things that you wanna say. So I did my launch this week. Others are doing their launch as well. Um, okay, um, we're going into the vault, okay? And what I mean like th by this is we're going into our vault of old posts. Okay, so yes, our team um, will comment on each other's stuff to throw it back into the feed, um, but yet you don't just want your team to comment on stuff, but yet when you bring in old an old post, right, like maybe your old launch video, you wanna go back, you wanna comment on it, and then you wanna tell your team like, hey, I'm bringing up an old, you know, that, that the vault of the post of when I did my launch, show it some love, right? So you're communicating with your, your team what you're doing. And I, that leads me to the, my next, you guys, my next tip right here. I think one of the, the, the biggest things for a team to do is create um, a thread. So our thread is so active. And what I mean is you just get um, uh, a Facebook group together. Now this is not a private page. We have our own private page for product and business but an actual thread, you guys. And so this is where I'm saying we have builders from all over the world. And every time we have a new builder join our team, they go into this thread, they go into the thread, they go into the thread, 
they get introduced, we're there, we're, we're like cheering on these people, joining us, you know, our new team members. And the thread is very fast moving, yet if you are a leader, you will leverage yourself, especially uh, because everyone kind of takes over to help one another. And you guys, everyone's a leader. If you enroll with one person, you're a leader. And I, I, I'm telling you this right now, like you are a leader. People are looking towards you, to, to you for guidance. So this thread, even though we're a place all over, it's like, it's like boom, 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 boom. So yesterday it was super exciting to be like, Hey, um, so-and-so just break advance. Hey, show my post some love. Hey, da, 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 you know, and so we were on our computers all day long, like, right? Like we knew our mental focus, all of us that were going for this yesterday, uh, was on Cyber Monday. Cause what we were doing was layering, stacking on top of what the company was giving us for Cyber Monday. So you guys, when you have deals in your company, you want to stack on top of your deals. So what I mean by that is I was also giving my own personal giveaway. I know I had other teams also giving their own personal giveaway, right? And so I had 25 customers join me yesterday. And so, um, just alone yesterday. So, I mean, it was, it was just insane. So you want to do giveaways. Like when your company runs um, a special, you have to do, um, you really want to do some sort of giveaway and you, you don't have to do a lot. Like you could do an Amazon gift card, a Target gift card. You could do, um, a Starbucks, a Lululemon. Like there's so many different giveaways you could do. I, in the other hand, and I think a lot of my team members, like they like to do product because we're buying from our own store and we're allowing somebody else to try the product, right? So we do giveaways a lot with our product, all right? Um, no excuses. Like, honestly, I our team is completely made up of people that legitimately have no excuses. They find a way. Like, they figure it out and they find a way. And if there is an issue, it, it, it goes up. It doesn't go down into the team, it goes up. Like we have really just, you know, we lay the foundation. You have to lay the foundation for your team. And so, like I said, I have a team of leaders, like all of them, all of them. Even people that just joined us yesterday, they're a leader. And so we look at everybody as being a leader. We look at them as, as being um, empowered and we encourage, them, sorry, my son, I don't know what he's doing, you guys. Um, we, you know, you want to empower your team. Okay. And so if you don't create like your own excuses, they're not going to create excuses, right? Like it, it's, I guess it's, what do you, it's like the environment that you set, like you set the tone, right? You have to set the tone and everyone kind of just falls in line and follows suit. So, um, that team chat is, it's really pretty amazing what we have there, okay? So you definitely, um, like I said, start a team chat. Start your own private face, your, your own private groups. Um, start a group where you start putting in the information where you can put in prospects, like a prospect group. That's super important. We have that in our company. Our entire company follows it. So I don't have to recreate it, but we have um, the videos in there. We have social proof in there, right? So... Um, let's see the giveaways. You guys want to create a sense of urgency. We definitely had urgency around Cyber Monday. Um, no excuses. Everything ended last night at midnight. So, you know, we don't make it no exceptions, right? It ended. It's done. If you didn't order, you didn't order. Um, but guess what? I have orders trickling in today. And I will continue to have orders trickling in um, this week, right? Because it's, again, creating that momentum. All right? And not just me. I, I know... Um, all of our team members are going to have more orders that come in because of what we created uh, for Cyber Monday, okay? All right. Um, daily Facebook Lives, hold on, just making sure. Giveaways, launching, you could always launch, right? Always re relaunch. Think about starting a campaign with your team, okay? So get together, do a Zoom with your team. We're going to probably be doing this in December, um, especially um, because we're in like clean living and wellness. So with our weight loss product, we'll probably be doing a campaign around that. So you guys make it fun, do the giveaways. You guys, your customers are investing in you. So you have to invest in your customers, right? And you have to have, you have to let them know that you care. Um, and so honestly, you would say, why, how did you sit at a computer yesterday for 16 hours? Because 
I legitimately was having conversations um, left and right. I had six chats open at a time all day long. And I know that just not me. I know our entire team was following suit. Like everyone was doing the same thing. It was just pure craziness. Um, energy creates more energy. Synergy is so important in unity within a team. And so you have to create that with your team. Okay. Um, let's see. And then follow the system. We followed the system. Okay. Um, even yesterday when my fingers were on fire and I had a uh, influx of people coming in, I even reached out to two of the leaders on my team and I'm like, I don't think I could put them into the group and, and, and have them watch the video. And they're like, you have to, it's duplication. And I'm just being honest, you guys, like it was crazy. Um, and I'm like, damn it, you're right. It is duplication. I have to do it. <laughs> do it. And so it's cool to be able to have those people to, um, you know, in your team to fall, to fall on at certain times. Right. Um, but it was all in good fun. It was all in good fun, but you have to, you have to have a system. You have to follow the system. Okay. Because they're right. That creates duplication throughout. Okay. So you guys, I hope these tips help. Um, absolutely amazing what happened yesterday. I'm still kind of counting like all the rank advancements, but in one day, um, what I saw happen was the vision I had, um, uh, the vision I've always had for, you know, my, my, my business, my team's business. And, uh, you heard my story in the beginning. I was at a very low point at one time, but what I encourage you is if you feel like that is you and you're at a low point, um, there is, there is a way out. There is. A way out okay so I just encourage you keep your head up keep rocking your business okay I hope these tips help I'm gonna tell you right now even if you feel like but I don't have a team if you sponsored one person you have a team you are a leader you have to understand that and so um, you have to start acting like a leader okay and just be there just be there be there for them and um, empower them because they're fully fully capable of doing it Carly Oh, come on. Oh, my God. All right. I got to go. Bye, guys. Love you all. If you have any questions, just comment below. Um, and just really appreciate all of you guys being here. I hope this helped. Bye for now.